Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky the Third. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we left off in the Herb Scenic Route, in front of what we thought was gonna be the Royal Villa, but there is a strange mist here. Kevin thought it was sensical to bring Reese with us. I'll put her in the second position and Ren in the last one. And let's enter. Where? I knew it. Where are we now? It doesn't look like Herb Royal Villa, at least. Oh, you're right. Wait, isn't that the church's emblem? Kevin. Welcome to Astor House, the place where Reese, Rufina and I grew up together. Chapter 6, The Guardian's Trials, End. Chapter 7, The Distant Flames. Astor House. This is only a copy of Astro House, yes? But it looks so, so... Yeah, I can barely bring myself to accept it's not the real thing. Everything from the feel of the earth underfoot to the smells in the air are just like the real thing. Yeah. Hmm. So this is where the two of you grew up. Judging by the emblem at the entrance, I take it this is a facility operated by the Zeptian Church? That's right. It's, call, it's what's called a gospel facility. Think of them as a cross between an orphanage and a monastery. I see. So that means you're... Well, no reason to dance around it. So, yep, I am an orphan. And how I came to be here is a story best saved for another day. Feels weird being back here again, though. It's been about five years. Five very long years. Well, anyway, we're bound to find some kind of clue as to how to get to the seventh plane somewhere in, the, in here. You guys up for having a look around the area with me? Yeah, let's go! There is an empty well. We used to get our drinking water out of here. We had no fancy orbital pumps either. We did it all using a good old-fashioned bucket with a string attached. It was a nightmare. Tell me about it. We would go out on winter mornings and come back with our hands numb and red raw. But looking back on the whole experience now, it was fun in its own way. <laughs> I guess it was. Who puts colorful windows in the back where nobody sees them? Anyways. What's this room? This is the living room where we used to have, where we used to have all our meals. Just don't make the mistake of thinking what it is it was a warm place like Mercia Orphanage. The matron here was a stubborn old sister who was strict as could be. Every meal time we had to, uh, we had uh, we had to pray so much that our stomachs had given up on getting fed by the end of it and we got yelled at for being the for the tiniest thing. 
That, sound lo that sounds like about what you'd expect from a church run orphanage, though, I suppose. Hmm. You deserved it all, in my opinion. You never, you never did as you were told and caused her nothing but grief. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that's probably accurate, but still. As you can probably guess, this this right here is the kitchen. This is where the older children of the facility did the cooking. It was also Reese's favorite place to sneak into whenever she had a hankering for some food. Kevin! <laughs> There's a sight I can hardly imagine. How cute! But please don't t take everything he says at fa face value. Ah, well, anyway... This was uh, always Rufina's turf back when she was uh, back when she was still here. She was always out here around mealtime making food for for me, Reese, and the other kids. After she left, Reese and I took over her position. That brings back memories. Of course, then you left too, leaving me to handle it all alone. Arr. The mere thought aggravates me. In fact, I think you should whip up some something right now to make up for your selfishness. Yes, ma'am. I'll make you something. Later. The only thing less reliable than a promise with later attached to, uh, to the end of it is, is one set by you. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Oh man, no faith in me, huh? Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Is this snow? The door is stuck fast and doesn't have a keyhole. Why won't it open? This is the side entrance that only opens from the inside. We can't get in from the outside. Yeah, if we want to get into the chapel, we're gonna have to go through the front. That's not yet. This was the matron's room. No one's here now, though. Yeah. By the way, Reese, how is the matron these days? She's fine. Her injuries, injuries weren't lasting. She hasn't had the energy she used to. Uh, she used to ever since retiring. Unfortunately, she really wanted to see you again, Kevin. She did, huh? This here is the kids' bedroom. I slept here back when I f was first taken in before graduating to the boys' bedroom. You never really did mix well with other children. Rufina had such a hard time trying to get you to make friends with them. It was a real ordeal for her, you know? Yeah, I know. I was I was like a little hedgehog who didn't want to get let anyone get near them back then. I feel sorry for everyone who had to put up with me. I'm still amazed you even bothered you even bo tr bothered trying to be friendly. Well, I knew you were only playing though, like that time when Rufina, uh, uh, like that time with Rufina and the chocolate. Stop! We're not hearing that story here. <laughs> now I'm really curious. Boy, could have shouted that, but I didn't. This is the boys' bedroom, where I slept until I was about 10 years old. Technically, the boys, boys and girls weren't supposed to enter one, one another's bedrooms. That never stopped Reese here from doing it all the time, though. What he neglects to mention is that it was his fault I did so. What else was I supposed to do when he slept in every, uh, when he slept in every morning he was on cleaning duty? Well, you could have just knocked on the door until I got up. But then I'd disturb the other boys who were sleeping, which would have been unfair. They weren't the ones shir shir shirking their duties. It was 100% your fault. Fine, fine, whatever you say. Mm. 
Is here's the girls' bedroom. This place where uh, this play the place where Rufina spent her nights. Same for you eventually too, Reese. I did. I, I even used to sleep with her with her from time to time. Her bed was always cozy and smelled really nice. It was much nicer than sleeping in my own. After she left here, her bed became mine. I bet you were jealous. <laughs> you bet. I was at the I was at the time. I'll admit. Oh, I thought you'd been a bit more flustered than that. I shouldn't have bothered saying anything. Give me a break. The door is locked. Figures. Is it locked? Yeah. Well, whatever, we can keep poking around. Uh, let's go to the matron's room again. Hmm. Hmm. But if it's locked... Okay, I don't I I assume he's not going to just smash in the side door now. But seal shut and doesn't have a keyhole. Locked. Empty well. I didn't see any chests. Was I not everywhere? I even walked around on all the edges. Huh. Huh. How do I get in there? There was no sign of anything in there. Our last hope seems to be the chapel. So it seems. Hmm. What is it, Kevin? Hey, Reese. You were the one responsible for cleaning the chapel that day, right? What day? On Astra's house's final day, when Rufina died. Huh. Aww. You do you don't think? That would w that was what I was told when I went to visit the matron afterward, at least. Well, were you? B yeah, I was. Why? I thought so. Check your pockets, Reese. I'm pretty sure the chapel key is in one of them. Huh? Reese began checking the pockets of her habit. Eventually, she found an old brass key. It can't be. Uh. That makes sense. This is just another manifestation of this world's ability to make thoughts into reality. Honestly, I wasn't entirely sure you'd find it in there. But in all the other areas on this plane, there was always a reason to take the person we needed with us. This just goes to show that you really were meant to come here, Reese. But... but... No, as disbelieving as I am, this is definitely the chapel's key. I suppose all, I c all we can do now is try to go inside. Yeah. The door's locked. Before we go in here, Reese, there is something I should warn you about. Once we step through that door, there will be, there will be no going back. <laughs> You're going to find out the truth about what happened that day. All of it. And you won't like it. Are you sure you're ready for what you're about to find? <sighs> I'm more than ready. All these years I've never been quite able to accept what happened here. The life I thought I knew just suddenly came to an end, with us all getting moved to other places and I still don't even know why. I even tried to come back here just before beginning my training to become a squire, but it had already been demolished. I've been re ready for a long time. I want to know the truth. And more than anything, I feel like knowing will let me get closer to you and Rufina. Okay. Let's head on in then. Alright. Kevin, 
Should the rest of us stay outside for now? No. Actually, I'd prefer if you came in with me. This is relevant to you guys too, in a sense. It all started five years ago. A Jaeger Corp, so someone had uh, someone had hired, took this place over out of nowhere. By the way, how much do you remember of that day, Reese? Just so I know. I... I just remember a group of men in black forcing their way through the gate and charging in here. They tied everyone up, took the matron up to the second floor, and then... Next thing you knew, you were in a bed in the hospital town, uh, in the hospital in town, right? After which you found out that Rufina and I had come to rescue everyone. And that she had died in the process. Is that about right? Hmm? Just what happened, Kevin? All I've heard is that that was the work of someone who opposed the church. But I haven't, the, I haven't had the chance to meet you since then, much less to ask you about it. I tried asking Instructor Selnit, but she wouldn't say a word. That doesn't surprise me. The Greisritters' commander can't admit this orphanage was being used as a smokescreen for an artifact that needed sealing away. Uh, it... what? Here we go. Yep. A secret passage, huh? Wait! If there was an artifact here, you, you you don't mean... Yep. Below here is a primal ground used to seal artifacts away. Just like with the one under Grancel Cathedral. Uh, uh. I'm sure you remember. The day it all happened, Rufina and I were due to come back here for the first time in a while. We were both coming from different places we'd been sent, so we wanted to meet up in town and come the, come the rest of the way here together. But then her train was delayed, leaving me in town to wait for her alone. That was when I got word of what happened. All I could think was that you and the other kids were in danger, and so I decided to try and take out the Jaegers here alone. They weren't all that experienced, so fighting them wasn't even hard for a squire like me. Before long, I was able to d disable them all and free the matron and the other kids. Or so I thought. You were nowhere to be seen. I asked the other kids where you were. They told me one of the Jaegers had taken you somewhere else and that you were unconscious. I looked frantically all over, trying to find you before eventually stumbling across this place. As for how... You remember how you didn't have your ribbon in your hair when you woke up, Reese? I, I do? What does that have to do with anything? I found that ribbon in front of the secret passage we've just gone through. And there were f new footprints near it, too. Made, made it easy to find the entrance. Uh. Anyway. After getting in here, I made my way down this staircase in pursuit of the Jaeger that had taken you. Hey, Reese. Do you remember what, what I was like back when you first met me? Yeah. I was still young at the time, but it's as fresh as, it, uh, as if it were only yesterday. You looked like you'd been swallowed by blackness, like there wasn't a single thread of hope bound to you. It was scary. I kept wondering what must have happened to you, and what you must have seen to make you end up that way. What must have happened to me, huh? 
Rovina seemed like she knew. Before I met you, I killed my mom. Huh. What? Maybe killed isn't the right expression. It's not like I directly did it. I still heard, let her die, though. I've still got a responsibility for what happened. Growing up, it was basically me and my mom for the most part. My father showed his face from time to time, but not that much. From what I understand, he had another family elsewhere. But even without him, she did her best to look after me on her own. I loved her dearly. Kids in the neighborhood used to make fun of me for uh, for how I talked, which I, w which I got from her, but I just beat them up most of the time. She was always kind. She loved cooking, and yeah, I thought the world was. Uh, I I thought the world of her. When I was seven, my father, who had all the money in the world, chose to abandon her. At the best of times, she uh, she was always a frail person, and after that, she grew more and more despondent. Her health suffered. I tried everything a kid could do to cheer her up, but nothing I did worked. And during one winter's day, when she must have finally had enough, uh, when she must have finally had enough, she came over while I was sleeping and tried to strangle me. I'm so sorry, Kevin. I failed as your mother, but I'm so tired. I'm so so tired. At least this way. At least this way the two of us can. I guess she figured that if we were both to suffer, uh, w that if we were both going to suffer, we might as well take the easy way out as a family. But I wouldn't let her take me with her. Before I knew what I was doing, I pushed her aside and ran barefoot out into the snow. I wandered around for a while after that. I couldn't understand what had happened or what she'd been trying to do. Eventually I could feel myself getting hungry. I thought that maybe she'd been able to clear her head. Made my way back home, nervous as could be, and... Hi. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all of this. Still, I think that's proper, uh, probably what I, w when it happened. When my stigma was carved inside me. W what? Where are we? Who would have thought a place like this existed under an orphanage? Hmm. This was where I finally caught up to the Jaeger who had you with him. He probably didn't think anyone was gonna come after him. The second he saw me, he panicked and putting his gun down, he ran over to this pedestal right in front of us. On it was the artifact that required sealing away I mentioned earlier, the Spear of Loa. What's the Spear of Loa? A malignant spear that transforms the body of its wielder into that of a monster. It's hard to believe something like that could be a gift from the goddess, right? In any case, the cornered Jaeger grabbed it and used it. I didn't stand a chance. Much as I tried, I wasn't any match for the for the inhuman monster before me. He knocked me to the ground and then went to raise the spear against the still unconscious you. That's all it took.
My stigma drew all of the spears' power from it into itself and blasted it, magnified countless times over, into the Jaeger's body. The result wasn't even a battle. Our pre precious home became a slaughterhouse. By the end, he wasn't even recognizable. Just thousands of lumps of flesh strewn all over the floor. After defeating him, my stigma's power was still coursing through my body. I'd never experienced anything like that before. I lost complete control of myself. At this point, Rufina arrived, and she seemed to understand exactly what had happened. Using her bowgun and Templar sword, she was able to separate me from you and prevent me from doing you any harm. And then... When I returned to my senses, I was in her arms, dumbfounded. Her body was full of holes all over, but she hugged me as tightly as could. That's when she drew her last breath. N no There it is. The truth you wanted. It wasn't that I couldn't save Rufina. I was the one who killed her. With my own hands. Right in front of you. But... But... But, but you, you didn't! I didn't want to? Maybe not. But that's just an excuse. If I'd been able to control my stigma's power instead of letting it consume me and fill me with bloodlust, it wouldn't have happened. If I wasn't so weak, we'd still be alive... She'd still be alive today. <laughs> That's not all, either. Looking at her standing before me at that moment, she reminded me of my mother. She reminded me of mom when she came to... Uh, when she came to strangle me. Suddenly, this feeling of betrayal welled up inside me. This desire for revenge, so... I filled her full of spears. I loved them both. I wanted to protect them both. <laughs> and what did I do? I killed... I killed them both. Me. Uh, why? Why did you? Why did I what? Why didn't you tell me this before? Five years apart? And this is the first time you're telling me this? Sorry. I, I know I should have done it earlier. But now I have, and I'm ready for the consequences. So, go on. If you want to venture, do it. If anything, it would make me happy if you did. You're so stupid! W what are you... You think I want to avenge her? That's not why I'm angry at all! Why have you, why have you shouldered a burden like that? A, a, a burden that great all this time on your own? We're family, Kevin! Why didn't you ever talk to me? Why didn't you ever let me hug you? Why didn't you let me do anything to help you? Reese. Reese. I... I finally understand. I always thought you were hunting down heretics as some kind of atonement for letting Rufina die. But that's not it at all, is it? C come on, Reese. I finally, finally understand. You don't want to atone for anything. You don't want to get rid of your sense of guilt at all. You... you... That's right. He wants to be punished for what he did. Huh? The Lord of Phantasma. So that's what they look like, huh? <laughs> you have my congratulations on making it this far. Beyond here lies the, t the seventh plane, the place of my birth, and the foundation of all planes there hereafter. Thought so. And judging by how we have to go through here to get there, I was right, wasn't I? Right about what? Allow me to ask you once again. So, Kevin Graham, do you really want to see the face underneath this mask? Damn right I do. It's time to take that creepy mask thing and show us who you really are. Rufina Argent? 
<laughs> With pleasure. R Rufina? I've missed you dearly, Reese. And as for you, Kevin, I am impressed you were able to work out my real identity. It wasn't hard, I had a feeling from the start. The answer was right in front of my face the whole time, and your every, every taunt should have made that much more th that much more sure. It should have made me that much more sure. The only reason I couldn't be until now was because I didn't want to accept the truth. Quiet, you always were a weakling. You can imagine how surprised I was when you were able to defeat my strongest knight. You talking about the Blade Lord? What connection does he even have to you, anyway? I met him through my work, uh, about six years ago? We were enemies at the time, but we managed to reach a compromise of sorts. And he felt as, uh, he felt he owed me a debt for, for as much. Alright, so you ended up summoning him in order to have him repay it. It's a crafty move, but that's not, that's not so out of character for you. Huh, flattery won't get you anywhere uh, anywhere with me. Still, now that I that that you've made it this far, I assume you understand what I'm trying to do. Yeah, and I'm ready. Take me away. W wait, what are you two talking about? I would have thought you worked out the answer to that already, Reese. Do you recall what I said before? Kevin wants to be punished. Th then you... I was born here in order to give him the punishment he strives for with his every breath. It was t to that end that I created Phantasma in into its, its, its current form and welcomed all of you here. All of this was a result of Kevin's desires. He wanted this to happen. Y you're lying. Sorry, she isn't. I couldn't tell you why it all actually happened. But what she says is true. N no. The seventh plane is likely somewhere made for the exp uh, express purpose of punishing me over and over. A fitting hell for someone who let his own mother die and killed Rufina to suffer and rot. And once I'm dropped down there, this will all be over. You can't be serious, Kevin. I mean... I, I suppose it makes sense, but I still can't understand why. <laughs> Reese. What do you think you're doing, Reese? That's not a very nice thing to do to your sister. Shut up! You're not my sister! My sister would never do something like this, never! Reese. You promised me, Kevin! You promised me that you'd never do anything that would make Rufina sad! So what do you think you're doing? How can you believe sacrificing yourself for everyone would make her happy? Reese, stop! <laughs> Who are you to say it wouldn't? I might not be the real Rufina, but I am a very close copy of her. If Kevin wants to be punished, why wouldn't I want to give him his wish? Because that's not how Rufina was at all! She'd never indulge in something like that, not in a thousand years! <laughs> huh. Think back to, uh, to when you first met us, Kevin. You'd given up on the world just like you, you just wanted to disappear. But did she let you do that? No! She forced chocolate down your throat and dragged you right back into the real world. Even when you didn't want to. Whether you liked it or not. She... I... I... <laughs> well, this is a surprise. You've grown a lot more than I was expecting if you're able to talk back to me. Stop talking to me like if you're uh, as if you're my sister! You're not, and I won't stand for you defiling her in any further! Huh, well, if that's how you want things to, uh, to go... Perhaps I should invite you in Kevin's place? M me? No! 
The rest of you can stand by and watch. Ah. It, it's the evil eye. It's just like the one that devil used. Reese, stop this, Rufina. She's not. She's got nothing to do with any of this. Oh, but she has. Consider this another part of your punishment. After all, if she suffers for all eternity in your place, that's going to make your suffering all the more potent, isn't it? Please. Go ahead and do your worst! Ah! Reese. Drop me wherever you like, I'll live! I'm never going to let Kevin be alone again! I will come back to him! Huh, fighting words, my sweet sister! We shall see whether you can make good on them. <laughs> Kevin? Hey. Hey, Reese, wake up. <laughs> Kevin. <sighs> you okay? Feeling any pain? N no, I I'm okay, I think. But why are you... I fell through that crack alone. So why are you... You big dummy! That noise! What the What the heck? Oh, you... Uh, me? What were you thinking with all that taunting? Go ahead and do your worst? Drop me wherever you like, I'll live? Just how do you know... How? And just how do you know you'll live? Oh, right, you don't! But, but... You're a squire, aren't you? A rookie like, like you with no experience or proper judgment has no business making calls that put her own safety at risk. If you can't promise to never do that again, then you you and I both know that you're not cut out to be part of the Graalsritter. Uh, that's probably what I should be saying anyway. But it'd be real rich coming from me, huh? So I'll let you off with that little bot there. Huh? Look around us. This is it. The seventh plane. Wow. Jahanna. Jahanna. Yep. It's just like the testaments brought to life. And I'm the one responsible for bringing it all. Uh after all, it's there. If there is one place that's possible, it's Phantasma. I don't know how Rufina came back, but she did, with both memories and personality intact. And now I have a good fortune of be I have the good fortune of being punished by one of the very people I wronged. I really couldn't think of a more fitting punishment for a bastard like me. Uh, everything she said was dead on. More than anything, I wanted to be punished. I figured that my, by accepting that punishment, all of this would be done, and everyone else could go back to their lives. I thought I could be just like her, sacrificing my own life so everyone else could be saved. But that wouldn't make me li li that wouldn't make me like her at all, would it? No. She might have given up her life to save ours, but that wasn't because she was happy to throw away her life to protect someone else's. It was because she she saw literally no other option. With me unconscious, she didn't even have the choice to retreat. There was no way out of that situation without one of the uh, one of the three of us losing our lives. That's the only reason she chose to do what she did. Yeah. 
She was never the kind person who would praise her praise self-sacrifice as some kind of virtue. She'd only ever accept it as an option if all the others had been exhausted, and it was truly the only way. Right, but this time that's not the case. You're here, I'm here, all of our friends are here. If we put our heads together, I'm sure we could have uh, we could have found another way out of here. One where no one would have would have to die. You must have realized that, and yet you tried to take it take the easy way out, didn't you? I hate to say it, but yeah, I did. That's a pretty shameful thing for a Dominion to be doing, huh? <laughs> See? I've got no right to be criticizing you. I'm even less fit to be a knight than you. Uh, still, standing around lamenting my own failings isn't gonna get us anywhere. So if you're up for walking, let's get ourselves out of here. Come again? What are you looking so surprised at me for? You didn't think I was going to stay here and accept being punished for all eternity, did you? Well, either that or stay here and wait for Rufina to show up again. Listen here, Reese. I'm not going to de deny that there's part of me, a big part, that wants to be punished for what I did. Or that there's a part of me that was overjoyed to see Rufina again, however it came to be. But I'm not alone down here. You're here with me and believe me, that changes everything. As long as you're here, I'm not staying in this hellhole a second longer than I have to. We're getting out of here, you and me, no matter what it takes. Huh. Right, right! And with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.